Hey guys, so I'm here with somebody really special today. This is... Hi, I'm Kyle Kruger. Kyle's very special to me because not only have we been friends for a while, both in New York and in LA, but we used to date too. So we dated for a few years. A little fact for ya. <laughs> so today we're just gonna be talking about relationships and how you can maybe transition relationships into friendships if it doesn't work out. Right. The first time we met, I was isolating in the corner at a party. You made me feel so comfortable and like talking to you and we like talked all night. And, and I remember it actually being like good conversation. I felt so lucky to be in a relationship with you while, was, while we were in a relationship because I was like, damn, I'm like really growing. The thing that I really loved about you and the thing that I think really did work for us was there was a youthfulness about you that made me take myself less seriously. Mm -hmm. I feel like I would be really hard to date. Like, I am like hot and cold, rather than getting vulnerable and raw and being like, I'm falling apart. I could feel like walls between us started going up, yeah. you know, and it just felt like we were disconnected. I would feel, yeah, like competitive with you, mm -hmm. or if I kind of felt like maybe you could easily get more attention than me, just because like you're a very good looking guy. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> <laughs> what makes a relationship work isn't just compatibility in terms of values and personality and character traits, but it's also about timing. And yeah. just because of where each of us were at in our lives, we it didn't work. But I think that the success of a relationship isn't how long it can last, right. it's what you're able to get from it. Why even be friends with somebody that you've dated? If it's done, why not just let it be done? What do you think? Why not? You know, like I feel like you call you like created and cultivated this um, like really special connection with someone that's very deep. It was really important to me to have a relationship with you after. And even though it didn't work out in the end, just the fact that we're able to to walk away from that and still have a relationship, you know, mm -hmm. and still actually just be able to have a connection. What do you think are some of the biggest challenges of trying to be friends with somebody after you've dated them? I needed time to like be friends with you. I couldn't do it right away because those feelings of like pain that I was feeling like were still there. So then what about like after that point when you actually, you know, maybe are kind of reintroduced into each other's lives now as friends or whatever, what do you think at that point? Like even kind of like where we're at now, like what might be some of the challenges that come here? To actually feel authentically, genuine, happy for you, yeah. it took me a while because even when you have been in a relationship when it was like a couple years ago, I would like I was still like a little bit like jealous and sad and been like, oh that can be me, like you know, like what went wrong. You know, just like kind of replaying the tape. Yeah, yeah. Well a lot of people then would wonder, you know, if you're even going to be friends with somebody, how like how do you know and what do you do? So here are just a few tips. Just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> but the first tip is that you don't have to. You don't have to be friends. A lot of people I think think that, oh, well, you have to be the better person, you have to be the bigger person, oh, and no. be open for a friendship. And you, well, and you can be the bigger person in it, and you can, if a relationship is just done and there's not gonna be a friendship, you can send somebody off with love, you know? You don't okay. have to maintain that connection, but you can say, I love you, but like this isn't working at all. Coupling? Yes. <laughs> the next tip I would say is, the way that you can try to figure out if a friendship is even possible, I happen to think, is you can just gauge how things went in the relationship, even if it didn't necessarily work out romantically, was there kindness in the relationship? Absolutely, I also think this applies to the end of the relationship. But if they leave with love and kindness, and they're like, they just want you to be happy, yet step away, yeah. that is someone that you could sign up for. Totally, especially at the end. Next tip is, you don't have to rush it. A lot of people think that if you're gonna end a relationship quickly, how can you switch things in your mind so you can be friends and just keep things going? You don't have to rush it, and arguably, you really do not want to rush it, so you want to yeah. give yourself some time. You take as much time as whoever needs the most time needs. And then make sure that if you're the one who's ready early, then you just are loving them and respectful of their time. So another really great tip is you want to grieve the relationship. So give yourself some time to do that because whatever kind of friendship you can have next is not going to be a continuation of that. It's a new foundation. You're not trying to kind of repair the old one. You're building a new foundation entirely. Yeah. That sounds good to me. <laughs> another really good tip is get in the habit of stop calling that person your ex. Stop calling them your ex and start calling them your friend because you're transitioning out of that relationship into the next thing. And so you just want to give it the proper title. Actually, I say now, like, this is my friend Matt that we used to date or something like yeah. that. If, I, if someone needs contact. But just really focusing on friend. Friends forever. <laughs> <laughs> what about new relationships? If you really do care about that person and you really do want them to be your friend, you're going to also care about the choices that they make and the people who they date. The other thing too is that if you are really respectful and kind of that relationship and you're just sending nothing but love and, 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 and just kind of being respectful of their space, 
then you're reinforcing to yourself too that you deserve that same thing. Like be the friend that you want. Yes. And if, yeah, you don't want to be an asshole. Yeah. Because you don't want an asshole friend. They want to be a friend. Yeah. But maybe you want your friend's asshole. Maybe you do. <laughs> friends with benefits, check out our other video. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Please be sure to comment below if you have any questions or any other comments that you want to throw out there. I just want to thank Kyle for coming thank here today you. and chatting with me about the things that we talked about. <laughs> thank you for having me. So please be sure to check out Kyle's page again. It is his YouTube is Kyle Krieger Hair. You can also check him out on Instagram and Twitter under the same handle. Mm -hmm. And so check out his YouTube page because we made another video too. So it and it's really good. It's really good. It was a lot of fun. All right. Thanks guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.